Hello guys, for those of you that know me in StarCraft, I am Thunder Razor, and this is Night of the Dead. Now what I want to show you in this um, video is what I'm currently working on with the, re the reinforcements called Charlie Company. Most of you have noticed that Charlie Company is broken. It does not work. Um, I've created some fixes. I've completely scrapped the original code, and I've rebuilt the code from scratch. Um, so I'm going to run some tests. And I, will, I want to explain to you the behavior of Charlie Company as I have created in the new script. Um, hopefully soon, in the near future, my patch will be approved and implemented into the public version, the public release of Night of the Dead. Um, if you're a veteran, you're probably not going to see the changes. I mean, if you're a veteran playing with other veterans, you're probably not going to um, experience these changes, and it's probably not going to matter anyway to you. But if you're a newbie, you might be in for a pleasant treat. Um, let me um, start up the test script here. This will force the game to um, run Charlie Company, and it will also um, I've created a temporary trigger which will simulate having a full team. You're about to see that here in just a second. Nope. Misspelled it. There we go. So these are just mini marines, but I've had them registered. I've had them registered as as if they are um, players. And right now the game is bugging because they don't have ammo and they're trying to reload. And there's seven fake Marines, so to speak, which don't have ammo. And so it's bugging the game, but that's okay. It's not going to break the game. It only breaks the ammo in this case. But that doesn't matter because this is only a test. But what I want to show you is when Charlie Company shows up. Some of you are aware that I've had plans to implement siege mode for the tanks. That will be working in this patch, and I will show you. And they don't. I took the siege tanks a step further. They don't just go into siege mode, but they intelligently um, av attempt to avoid splash damaging friendlies. Okay, Charlie Company has arrived. Just gotta wait for them to show up in the map. Looks like they're coming from the top left. I'm going to spread out my Marines a little bit.
All right, so now that all of Charlie Company is here, you can see that they're somewhat spread out. And they're not, they're not so far beyond the positioning of the Marines. They're somewhat in the center of the Marines, but not too much bunched up in the center. Now, here's something that I think is really neat. If I bunch up my Marines very tightly, then Charlie Company will also bunch up with me. I'm going to spread them out for the tanks. And the same thing occurs with the tanks. The same thing happens with the tanks. Spread out my Marines. And again, these Marines represent actual players, even though they're not actual players. They don't have the abilities that the real players do. Thanks are a little bit slow, but that's okay. All right, thanks are here. Waiting for them to get into position. Now, since the team is spread out, the tanks will also spread out. As you can see, they're going to, into siege mode. If I pull the Marines in tight, the tanks will also pull in tight. Give it a few seconds. There they go. And now they pull in tighter. I hope you all will enjoy that. Especially if you're a newbie. Now, another thing I have to mention is since these tanks go into siege mode, you might be wondering, wouldn't they block you from moving? Well, yes, which is why I created a safety measure to prevent that from happening. When a siege tank stays in siege mode and you need to pass, all you have to do is hug the tank. Give it a few seconds and it will unseach. You can see that all these Marines and all these tanks it will all unseage, and it will stay unseaged until the tanks are not too close to the marine. So we'll just move a couple pixels away, and they should go back into siege mode. I get again, and they return to tank mode. Pretty interesting, right? Now I want to show you something else. Um, I've been, as I said, I've um, made the tanks smart so that they're not going to um, splash damage friendlies. However, it's it's not guaranteed that that it's prevented. But they try their best. I programmed the tanks. I mean, I, I programmed the script, the, the script to make the tanks try their best to avoid splash damaging. Let me see if I can demonstrate. I'm going to go ahead and activate some more mobs.
I'm going to hustle back to the group. Because what I want to show you are how the tanks behave when they're about to splash damage a friendly, such as myself. So I'm going to position right here near the edge of the uh, siege range. These siege tanks have incredible range. So now I just have to wait for mobs to appear. Now, what you're seeing is that these tanks unsiege after they shoot a target. And the reason is because they see the, um, it appears to me that they see the rocks as a friendly. And so what the tanks will do is, They'll try to attack it. They'll try to attack the, the enemy if the enemy is not if the enemy is not very close to the friendly. But if the enemy is a little bit too close, then they will um, unseach. So I'm taking damage. This is not good. I just got saved. I think just saved me. But I'm hoping that I don't get splash damaged by the tanks. Right, so they did not splash damage me because they're not in siege mode. So the real test is what happens when they're in siege mode. Let's put it to the test. And what you saw there at the moment just before I lost a life is that the tanks wanted to shoot at those zombies surrounding me, but they canceled their order and unseaged instead before terribly splash damaging me. And so there's there's pros and cons to that. Um, on the pro side, they don't splash damage me so much it does happen every once in a while but it's it's unlikely that they splash damage me and on the bad side the cons is that they unseach and they reattempt their target in normal tank mode um, which means that they don't shoot the enemy right away and so the enemy lives a little bit longer. And the moral of, you know, the, the lesson there to be learned is, you know, don't tank mobs unless you're a real tank. And so the tanks will attempt to hold off on their shots just for a small delay of time to avoid splash damaging friendlies. Now, the tanks do follow, follow the team, so when I move the whole team, they also move. Furthermore, they will also find the largest team, or the largest group.
So if I move one of these Marines over to change the balance, then all of Charlie Company begins to move over as well. Oh boy. Kill it. Kill it. Now, so going back to what I was saying, if I move one of these Marines over, change the balance, then Charlie Company will also move to the larger group. Now, how far these um, units stay spread out depends on how far the whole team, all Marines, stay spread out, not including cloaked Marines. So if I bring units closer together, then they tighten up, as you can see. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. I do want to comment that testing the uh, friendly fire avoid uh, avoidance is uh, difficult to test because you have to stand there and wait for a tank to try to attack an enemy right next to you. And siege is slow. And so there's a good chance that you get eaten and killed by the zombie uh, before the tank attempts to splash damage you. And so it's really it's difficult to test that. But without further ado, um, this concludes my uh, demonstration of Charlie Company that I have been working on. And I hope you will. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you will enjoy uh, the action in the game. That's it. Take care.